Hey, so today I'm actually making a video. I know it's pretty insane. Um, I'm filming uh, a video for once. <laughs> this is an unboxing of uh, Mac OS X. Uh, and I'm doing this because Mac OS X is not only 19 years old this year, but also because Mac OS uh, Big Sur just came out. And Mac OS Big Sur is um, version 11. Uh, which means we're finally moving on from uh, version 10, which we've been on since, you know, 2001. You know, my MacBook here is still running Catalina. I got a notification. Hold up. Yeah, but I'm still running, you know, Catalina version 10 on my MacBook right here. So, we've been on Mac OS 10 for so long, I thought it'd be pretty fun to revisit the first version. Uh, this is technically not the first version. This is the first version, but it's beta. So this is... 10.0 beta, this is release version. They, This is um, what they ship to the public. Uh, they, they have a little flap here, which they didn't on OS 9, because there was just so much information they needed to include on the OS 10 packaging. Um, so right here, you can see um, introducing Mac OS 10, the super modern operating system that delivers the power of Unix with the legendary simplicity and elegance of Macintosh. Um, they just kind of list some of the things that the OS has, like a uh, Unix-based foundation. It is designed for the internet age, which is interesting because um, they also sort of did this with OS 9. They called OS 9 your internet co-pilot, but um, this, they, they also labeled this OS as designed for the internet age. Um, killer graphics and easy transition. So this, something interesting is that this OS shipped with um, the ability to dual boot OS 9 and OS 10 simultaneously on your computer. So you could actually use Classic. And what Classic would let you do is it would let you run OS 9 applications on top of OS 10 um, so that you didn't have to worry about incompatibilities, which is something they did not only with uh, the PowerPC to Intel transition, but with uh, what they're doing with the Intel to Apple Silicon transition right now with Rosetta and Rosetta 2. Um, pretty interesting. So right here, we have um, a screenshot of the operating system with some little tidbits right here that you can pause and read if you want to. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to waste your time. So right down here, we have Introducing Aqua, Meet Your Desktop, and they um, describe the all-new Aqua interface. Uh, they describe it as stunning. I'll actually just read the whole thing. The stunning new user interface of Mac OS X Aqua is as functional as it is beautiful. Intuitive for new users, it's powerful and customizable for professionals. Aqua features the revolutionary new dock, which lets you quickly access your favorite applications, folders, minimize windows, and even system settings. This is funny because they call the dock revolutionary and this new thing, which it was at the time. But now we've just gotten so accustomed to the dock and it's, you know, many designs. We've had, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six redesigns of the dock since it came out. So, you know, the dock's been pretty, pretty popular, I like to think. Um, yeah. It's amazingly efficient. It's amazingly efficient finder is designed to help you quickly navigate and organize the gigabytes of documents, movies, and music you store in your Mac. It's funny because they say gigabytes, and I literally have a hard drive connected that is almost full, and it's two terabytes, so I need to clean my storage. Um, Aqua brings your Mac to life with expressive icons, vibrant color, and fluid motion. So that's what's in this. My phone got knocked. I'm recording this on my phone. I know this is very professional. Um, so that's what's in this little flap here. On the side, they, you got the Mac OS X branding, as well as uh, Mac operating system software. Down here, we've got Mac OS X, the world's most advanced operating system. And on the side right here, uh, you can see we've got um, core technologies uh, like Darwin, Quartz, whatever, whatever. You can pause and read that. Internet features additional software languages, contents. Uh, I don't have the Mac OS 9.1 CD. Don't get your hopes up. I don't have that in here. And then requirements is Power Mac, uh, G3, G4, G4 Cube, iMac, Power Mac, G3, uh, whatever, whatever. It's cool. Uh, just see, <laughs> you only needed 128 megabytes of physical RAM in your computer. That's pretty interesting. Oh my god, it's 11.05 p.m. Um, and then down here, they just have their sort of the fine print that you that they need to have on there. So that's enough talking about the actual box. Let's get into the inside of the box. Uh, it comes in this little brown sort of um, 
thing, brown box. And once you open it, you get all the things included. Uh, so this is the original receipt. I can't show this because it has like card numbers and that kind of stuff. Um, even though the, it is 19 years old, um, I'm sure that that still would be problematic. Um, this is the original, this is the OS CD. So this is what has the operating system on it. Uh, Mac OS 10, version 10.0. Uh, and then your developer tools. This is the original bag, so whoever bought this got this from a store called a Computerware uh, at MacSource.com. I'm not sure if that still exists. We could check that out, actually. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Does MacSource.com still exist? <laughs> nope. Uh, MacSource. MacSource.com is incredibly gone. That looks like that's cool. Um, so right here you have a bunch of stickers. I have not opened this because I really don't want to. But they have a bunch of cool Mac OS X stickers in here. And uh, you can put them wherever you stick things. Um, right here you have your Welcome to Mac OS X booklet. Uh, just basically tells you like customization, classic users, whatever, whatever, whatever. Bunch of cool stuff. Um, down here is your um, software license agreement for Mac OS X that I think three people have read in their entire life. Um, Apple Care software service and support guide, which basically just tells you numbers to call if you're having issues with your Mac OS X. Uh, your personal own Mac OS X. I know I'm quite good at grammar. Uh, another software agreement, which is from 1999, so I don't know if this actually shipped with it. This might have been for OS 9, actually, because this did include a copy of OS 9. I just don't have it in here. And then in, uh, right here is important Apple software proof of purchase coupons. To get Mac OS updates and other special offers from Apple Computer, You'll need the coupons below as proof that you've purchased the macOS software. Be sure to keep the original coupons. You can't use a copy of the coupons as proof of purchase. Um, and then you mail them in, it looks like. Which is really weird. This is so they can verify that you bought the operating system, but obviously all of their OSs are free now. That's just kind of something that's pretty interesting that they don't do anymore. Um, and I don't think they've done it since Leopard or since Tiger, I forget. Um, just putting all the things back. You got this bag, which is way too big for an operating system, to be honest. This, will, this like, takes up half of the volume of this box. Um, there. There's your OS X. Uh, so it comes with some interesting things. Uh, it wasn't, honestly, a really, really revolutionary operating system. Maybe not nearly as revolutionary as widgets in the <laughs> in the notification center in Mac OS Big Sur. I know it's very impressive. Um, yeah, you might have OS, you might have Mac OS Big Sur, but do you get stickers on the box of your operating system? I did not think so. They don't even have boxes anymore. They haven't had boxes since Snow Leopard. Also, my copy of Snow Leopard is very beaten up. Please don't bully me. But yeah, that's OS 10. Thank you for watching this. I've been recording for 10 minutes now. Video. Um, if you want to see me unbox uh, my other Apple software, I have a lot of Apple old Apple software. I've OS 9. I've got Panther. I've got Tiger. I've got 10.1 upgrade CD. And I also have this one. This is actually pretty interesting. Hold on. No. This is really heavy. OS System 7. Um. This box is so thick, I really don't know why they did this. Um, it comes with a lot of things in it, I'm not sure. That is actually really heavy. That's heavier than my computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my Apple software. Thank you for watching this very low-budget video. Uh...